Okay, so it's now Sunday um, and I've managed to break the 1 minute 45 barrier. So um, in a minute we're going to have a look at that lap. Uh, basically, the changes I've made is less brake, more momentum. And when I do use the brake, I use it just a tiny bit because if you use it too much, the back will snap away straight away. Um, and also what I've changed is I've, I've decided to chase a slightly slower ghost car uh, who's in 10th position in the competition. And the reason I've done that is when you're closer I, I've got a bit more of a feel for where I'm gaining, where I'm losing time. Uh, but also I can see their braking points, but more importantly I can see uh, when they're getting the power down and I can kind of anticipate that power going down and try to put it down myself so that I don't lose too much time because of course if they're in front of me into any given corner they'll therefore be able to get the power down earlier than me and therefore they'll be quicker. Now I'll just change the view to onboard view so this is the end of the first lap which was quick it was a 1.36.3 so this next one is the one that's taken me a great many hours to perfect so we're on board going down the main street which I've not made any real changes to to be fair trying to keep this camera as steady as possible and as focused as possible uh, braking heavily and early into this corner and steering in and as you come off off the brake there that the front bites in and that enables you to just keep your foot to the floor all the way through this section here I was faster than the ghost car because I keep it well wide on the left therefore I can clip the apex and get the power down early I was lucky to hold that to be fair then round that corner there's a slight lift and then here I was quicker than the pace car and the ghost car I was chasing because I was gaining on engine braking which meant I could keep tighter and again get the power down now here I took a different line uh, a little dab on the brake just to just get the front to bite so that they can accelerate away now here I believe I was about two tenths of a second behind that lead, lead car um, and uh, and here use less brake again and here again I was about two tenths of a second down on the ghost car now this corner is more about uh, swinging it in with no brake hardly and, and then you can just boot it nice and early out and you've got to be careful not to take too much grass on the left there the, the ghost car actually made a mistake there and I gained a little bit here this is an awful corner it's really blind braking dead heavily but you don't want to brake too much and I found there was time to be gained there so if you come off the brake a little bit, the front wheel bite, and then it, it keeps you tight to the right. Now here's much of a muchness, to be fair. Um, off the brake a little bit earlier, I think, just again, so that the front bite bites in, and then I can open the taps on this thing, on this four-wheel drive uh, Nissan GTR. I used my old technique of engine braking around the corner, but because I was already closer to the ghost car, I could see that he hadn't hit the gas yet, so I hit the gas just before he did, and I managed to hold it. Uh, keeping tight to the white line and then as I cross the line I believe it will go down as a 1.45.908 which I'm very pleased with. It took some doing but I believe that there might be a little bit left in the tank so looking forward to getting, uh, getting it rattled off. Thanks very much for watching.